This is every single Pokemon product from the brand new Silver Tempest set, which features six of some of the best Lugia artworks in modern Pokemon cards. I'm also going to be giving away a sealed booster box of the brand new set Silver Tempest to one subscriber here on the channel. So to enter the giveaway, all you have to do is number one, smash the like button. Number two, make sure you subscribe to the channel with notifications on. And then number three, down below in the comment section, let me know what you think of this new set. All right, so first product up is going to be our sleeved booster packs. And I say we just start off here with Lugia. So these look really nice. You could probably find these in, in places like Target, Walmart, GameStop, pretty much anywhere that sells Pokemon cards in general. is probably going to have these because they're really nice because you could just buy one booster pack. And you don't have to worry about anything like them being tampered or anything weird like that because they come in like this cardboard um, packaging and then there's like another pack and well the actual pack is inside of there so it's just like an extra layer of um, protection for it Swablu Hypno in a Crobat regular hollow now we have the Alolan Vulpix artwork up next now I'm curious do you guys think that there's going to be a certain product that we open up today that's actually going to have the best hits or more hits than a different product let me know what you think I personally can't wait to see how the mini booster boxes do because those are cool. I think that's like the perfect product for Pokemon right now are those mystery or um, what am I saying? Mini booster boxes. I don't want to say mystery. Mini booster boxes of only six booster packs. Mistrevis and an Incineroar. But yeah, basically those mini booster boxes just get right to the point. Like it's six packs. And actually, I'm actually curious. I don't know. Can you actually buy those? Um, well, I guess we'll get to that later. But if you can buy those in like Target and Walmart, I don't even... I don't know if they sell the mini booster box because it's such a new product. They did release those with Lost Origin, but I don't know if they actually sell those in actual places like Target or Walmart, but I think that would be a perfect place to actually have those. All right, we have one more sleeved booster pack, and right now it's not looking too good. I'm just going to say uh, the pulls have been pretty bad on these four, but let's see what we can do on this last one here. Water Energy, Raichu, Torcat, Noibat, Snorunt. We got Finnekin, Murkrow... Oh, okay, Serena Full Art. That's pretty solid. We'll take it. We'll take it. We got one Full Art hit out of the four sleeve packs. Not bad. Actually, this might be one of the most valuable Full Art trainers in the entire set. Um, This is going for like $80 as of the recording of this, which can change, but that's kind of crazy. That's actually a really good hit. So we got like $80 in value from just the four sleeve packs. That's really good. All right, but up next, we do have a mini booster box of Silver Tempest. I like how they have all four artworks on the front of this thing. Include six booster packs. And if you guys want to check out the back here, it should say the same thing as you normally would see on an actual booster box, but just a mini version. All right, so let's slice this open. If you haven't seen these yet, well, they're pretty new. They only released these recently with Lost Origin, but here we go. We're going to take this out of here. And then, oh, that looks nice. So we got Lugia right on the front here. All right, so let's reveal the packs that we get in here. So should be literally just six booster packs. One, two, three, four, five, and six. So let's put those back in there, and we'll just start off with our first pack. So you know what? This is kind of a heated battle right now because the sleeve packs, honestly, there was only one hit, but it was probably the best full art trainer, I'm assuming right now. I don't really know yet, but that's actually pretty solid. Just one really good hit. Rotom. Oh! We got an all art Scott tag me. I spoke too soon. Oh my god. Out of the mini booster boxes, those are pretty nice. Skun tag, that's amazing. You got Paris in the background there. And you got this whole like underground thing going on with Skun tag. You actually see like their nest down there or their home or whatever. Bro, that's sick. Oh my god. Okay. Well, that's uh that's a really good start on that. Alright, we're catching up quick. <laughs> That's like, um, again, this is as of the recording of this, so like the prices definitely could change dramatically. Maybe stay the same, maybe change a lot. It does, it like, depending on when the set's actually released, because the set's not out yet. It releases officially on the 11th of November. All right, Durant, we got Beldum, Stonefisk, Vulpix, into a Lilligan. That's a really good start. Uh, we got two massive hits. That's it, though. Just like, we're going with quality over quantity on the hits right now. But the mini booster box. I don't know. I'm pretty sold on the mini booster boxes. I like it. You get six packs in there. Nothing else. Clink, clink, and Incineroar. All right, so we got three more. Or two more? Three more. Three more in the mini booster box. And then we're going to move on to our third Silver Tempest pro uh, product. Or item. Product, yeah. Uh, let's keep going. Emergency Jelly. We got Sandal, Pamphy, Litten, Rufflet, Finnekin, Morpeko, and a Crocodile. Okay, two more booster packs. One other thing I want to say is the new set, like... Okay, I know we're talking about. I know we're opening Silver Tempest, but there is another new set of Pokemon cards called uh, Crown Zenith. That I'm, <laughs> I think it might end up being the best set. I'm not, like, oops, not kidding. Like I'm being very serious here. I think it might be the best set from the Sword and Shield era, hands down. Like no competition. 
it's looks ridiculous, like beyond ridiculous. Ridiculous. I think there's something like 70 special artwork cards, which are, I guess, like trainer gallery cards, but like minus the trainer, just beautiful cards of just like the Pokemon themselves. And like so much more stuff. It's it's like honestly ridiculous. Like I was not expecting that. But I honestly think it might end up being the best set. Like it's it's crazy. I can't wait to I cannot wait for that to release. We got a Vulpix V to end it. Okay, not too bad. Alright, next product up is gonna be checkout lane blisters, and they're called checkout lane blisters because they're usually at the checkout lane. So makes sense, right? Like Target Walmart, you're at your checkout and they just have these sitting there. And they usually have a card. Oh, these are usually really hard to open up too, by the way. But they usually have a special card in there. Ooh, that was weird. And then like um, a coin, a code card, and a pack. So there's our pack. Here's our code card. And then let's see our special card we have in here is a Black Star promo. It's Suyin Basculin. And... Surfetched, because literally there's a million surfetched coins for some reason. <laughs> I feel like they always have surfetched coins nowadays. Like it's kind of crazy. Oops. Okay. Uh, well, that wasn't the rare. We're good though. One, two, three, four. But right now, still getting really nice hits. I mean, I think the best pulls so far has been from the sleeve packs. If we're talking like value-wise specifically, I don't know. That could change at any moment. And just like that, the unknown V-Star pull out of the first pack. We're just uh, crushing it right now. Not bad from the checkout lane blisters. Okay. So we got another one of these, and it just features another different, like, Black Star promo. They usually have two different ones on the checkout lane blisters. Um, I will say they're not that great on these Silver Tempest packs. I mean, like, a Basculin, and yeah, I mean, honestly, not, not the craziest Black Star promos. I've definitely seen way better ones, but not bad, though. If you want to get those cards, you pretty much have to grab a checkout lane blister or just buy the card if you need it. Or want it or whatever. But we're going to go with four from the back again. And there's going to be just the two, right? Because there's only two different versions of these checkout lanes. Then we're going to move on to... I think we're at our fourth product. Of Tempest! What is happening? What is happening? Oh, my God. Brandon Rainbow. Dude, I don't know which product is better. They're all <laughs> crushing it right now. How are we going to get a Rainbow and a V-Star out of two packs? I don't understand it, but we're just getting quality over quantity today moving on to our fourth product we have the three pack blister which features again another black star promo and does uh it also has a different coin there and then three booster packs so i can never open these though it's ridiculous trying to open these up because it just doesn't open up clean it's like leaves all this paper behind here this cardboard behind but here we go okay so you get three packs okay three packs you get code card you get your Black Star promo, which is a Togetic. And then we do get our coin. And it's a Pikachu this time, which I've seen a bunch of these as well. And this one's actually messed up pretty bad. Okay. Can we continue with this right now? All three products that we've opened so far pretty much been a banger. Literally every single one has had bangers. It's actually ridiculous. There hasn't been really one that's been that's just been better than the other. I mean, value-wise, maybe that trainer on the first one. But, like... Honestly, pretty pretty much similar. Metacham. All right, I don't know which product do you get. Mm, tough choice. They're all they've all been pretty nice, honestly. If you just want packs, definitely the mini booster box. If you just want to grab a pack at checkout, I guess checkout lane blisters. Um, if you want just single packs, sleeve packs. Ooh, Lugia V, nice. Dang. Okay. I don't know what's happening today. We're just getting all the pulls, I guess. Right now, this card's hanging around twenty dollars. Again, the set's not released yet. So that could definitely change, and it probably will, but uh, honestly, this is a really nice card. It's definitely going to be easier to pull, but like for V cards, that's probably the number one regular V card in the set. Alolan Vulpix as well, but like Lugia is just Lugia. I mean, at the end of the day, it's just, it is what it is. It's like the Charizard of Gen 2. I mean, it's just how it is. But yeah, all right, still crushing it, still crushing it. We got a Rapidash. Honestly, all three packs technically had pulls. All right, so now we got to do our second three-pack blister here, and it's literally the same thing except for just one of the promo cards. Well, I mean, it's a lot different. It's a different Pokemon. <laughs> but yeah, literally the same three... Oh, wait, same artworks. The same artworks? Okay, it was Lugia there, though. Um, and then, okay, here's the code card, and then this is a different promo card that we get. Honestly, probably my favorite of, like, the four, including the checkout lane. Um, and then you got a Pikachu, which is actually in better condition than the other. All right, let's go! I want to keep it going. I want to keep it going. So that last one was still pretty solid. I mean, we did get the Lugia V, which is technically probably like the best V card you could possibly pull from the regular V cards. Sigalif. And let's just keep it going with every single product being a banger, baby. 
Miss Mate. I guess technically, if you're going off prices for the cards at now in today's market, like right now, right now, like this day, um, technically making like back what the cost of this stuff was on the pulls from like just those big. Whoa, was that upside down? It was, I guess, unless I did something. All right, let's go. Um, v Star, Candice. There's our upside down card. Snorunt, Fletchling, Pharisees, Smeargle, Cobalia. Okay, so the last pack. If we don't get something good in this one, that means that this three-pack blister was a bust, was a dud. Let's see if we can get something on this last one. Don't fail us now. We've been getting hits in every single one. I, I don't think we can stop now. I think it's just our destiny at this point. Rough flip. Boom. Okay, not too bad. Not too bad. Mad Wild V-Star. Up next, we have the Silver Tempest Elite Trainer Box. You guys have already seen me take all the contents out from one of these, so check out that video if you missed it. I'm just going to snap my fingers, and then the packs are just going to appear. Voila, we're ready to go. Okay. Editing makes things easier. I will say that. All right. So let's get through these ones and see if this ETB can keep up with all the craziness that we've been having today from our checkout lane blisters, from our three pack, from our mini booster box. Oh, and it can. We got a trainer gallery pull. And that's a really good trainer gallery because we got that full art, which is definitely tougher to pull than the normal trainer gallery, which reminds me. This is our first trainer gallery pull today. It's interesting. Okay. Starting off with a banger. Continuing the trend today of just getting massive hits out of all these products. Again, let me know what your favorite product is down below in the comment section. Curious what you guys think. Um, I, I really like the mini booster boxes. I've mentioned it before. I think those are solid. Talent Flame. All right. Six more packs here. Silver Tempest. Technically, I guess the second to last set from the Sword and Shield era. We got one more special set, and it's going to be ridiculous. It's going to be like they took all the sets from Sword and Shield era, combined them, and put them into one set and just to make the craziest set. I'm actually kind of scared because I don't know how it's going to be to actually collect all those cards. And that's the other thing is you don't get booster boxes from it because it's a special set. So you got to be like opening up all these collection boxes. I really hope maybe, maybe somehow they put the mini booster boxes for the special set. But I just feel like they're not going to do it. That's just, that's just how it is. I don't know. It's just how it is, I guess. But here we go. It's going to be, it's going to be crazy though. Depending on the pull rate, it's going to be probably wild, beyond wild. Probably maybe even crazier than anything we've seen. Altaria Trainer Gallery. Look at the card. Look at the colors. It just pops. And into a Dragapult regular holo. All right. I mean, we did get two hits, both of them from the Trainer Gallery, surprisingly, because we haven't pulled any other Trainer Gallery cards besides those two. Um, and then everything else has been non-holo or holo. We got three packs, though. We still got three. Ninetales, Superior V. We'll take it. All right. Final two packs. Whoops. We have Alolan Vulpix and Lugia. And then we're going to move into our final Silver Tempest product, at least as of the recording of this. I mean, there's probably going to be other collection boxes and stuff like that. Is that the first time we got that Jinx today? Um, that will have like Silver Tempest packs in them. Delphi. All right, we got Lugia. But yeah, we have all different uh, Pokemon products coming out. I was going to say for the rest of this year, but <laughs> it's just nonstop at this point. Like, it's getting crazy because even January and February is going to be crazy. I mean, and then you got uh, Scarlet and Violet being released. Like, it's just nonstop at this point. Oh, Mawile V Fullard. That's a really nice background. And our final product, which you guys might have guessed already. Is going to be a booster box, but we're going to cut this open like so. We have opened up booster boxes. Definitely have opened booster boxes of this. But here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to open this up, and I'm actually just going to take 12 packs out. Let's just grab them from, like, random sections here. And hopefully, maybe we'll get lucky and get the good stuff. That's 10, and then we'll do 11, and we'll just take this last one, 12. A nice selection of booster packs from a booster box. Now, this is going to be completely random, and I'm hoping that we grabbed some of the good packs here. That would be nice. Hopefully, we didn't grab all the bad packs, but completely just random, just grabbing packs out of there. So, we'll see. Dragonite Hollow, decent start. All right, we'll see what we can do on these 12. We'll see what we can do. So far, we did get one with a black uh, border code card, which means a hollow or better. But you can still get hits out of cards that have the white borders because there's a trainer gallery, and you can pull those out of any pack. It doesn't matter. Reggie Lecky. Okay. So, we're going to go through this. We're going to go four from the back on here. Silver Tempest. Is the booster box going to have the best pulls? It definitely has the most packs, but can it get the best pulls is the question. Snorunt and Noivern non holo The only product with the most packs, uh, the second you know, highest amount of packs, was going to be those three-pack blisters where you opened two of those, which was six, or the mini booster boxes, which I love, which has six as well. So this is double that. So, I mean, odds are we got to get something, right? Oh, my God, maybe not. We can't give up on Silver Tempest right now. We can't give up on Silver Tempest right now. Four from the back. Here we go. Come on, baby. Give me a Lugia. Jinx. I don't want Jinx. 
Murkrow's pretty sick, though. Sunkern. Ooh, we got another Radiance and a Lily game. All right, the, I don't know. Jinx always catches me off guard. It always catches me off guard. Kind of freaks me out a little bit. Kind of freaks me out just a little bit. Don't be in this pack either. Candice. Don't be in this pack either, please. Drowsy, Spinarak, Zygarde. Booster box, don't fail us now. So these are the six products from Silver Tempest. You have your mini booster boxes. You have your checkout lane blisters. You have the three pack blisters. You have uh, stuff that I can't remember. Sleeve packs. You have ETB. And you have booster boxes. Ball pick, Sunkern, and a Forest Steel Stone. Every pack so far from this booster box that has had a good code card. Oh, that's a good code card. Has had just a hollow. Let's please change that. We did get the shiny, but that doesn't technically count as in the rare slot. Because in the reverse slot, because you can also pull those in any pack. Krogunk! Oh my god, more hollows! I mean, the rest of that booster box is loaded. I don't know. That could be the case at this point. Because if you open up 12 packs from a booster box and you don't get anything, I'm going to just assume that the rest of the packs are good. But we still have five more on the table or four more. Oh my god. Could I have picked any worse packs from that booster box? Um, okay, maybe, 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 maybe not, though. Maybe not, though. If there is a secret rare in there, then maybe we could pull it. Come on. Relicanth, Halucha, Rufflet, Vulpix, Growlithe. Mow Wow, regular V. Well, it's coming down to the last three packs, and right now we're going to need a Poke Miracle to make this booster box worth it, or at least the 12 packs that we got out of the booster box worth it right now. Come on! We can do it! Saving the best for last, right? King Kling Clang. Oh, boy. Two more. Come on. No, I think I saw the code card was white border. Oh my god. Please. Worker. Oh no, that means we can only get trainer gallery in this pack. No! I literally could not have chose the like <laughs> any worse packs from that. This is gonna be our final pack here. And uh, well, hopefully we can end it with something in here. Here we go, Claydol. Alright, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to smash the like on your way out. Click on some content that's probably uh, on the screen if I could talk. And ended it with an unknown V-star. Alright guys, hope you have a great day, and I will see you on the next one.